so what I propose to do to make this a bit more interesting is to work with a much longer file. Let's take a look at this 17 by 93 and paint. And you can see that we have an obstacle here. I want to measure the length of the obstacle. Sometimes I do it like this. It looks like this is about uh, seven lattice units long. And I'll just undo this so, so as to not leave anything unneeded in the file. Whoops. OK. OK, so let's work with this file. And let's have a look at the params.in file. I've already switched this to 17 by 93. We'll change this to 7 so that the Reynolds number is computed correctly. And I think just on intuition, I'll increase this by two orders of magnitude to have a stronger driving force. Otherwise, I don't believe we need to make any other changes right now. Oh, we could reduce the viscosity, but let's leave it uh, alone for the moment. So I'm going to save this. Now we can return and run the program by typing dot slash lb2d. And I auto-completed to get the underbar prime.exe run the code. If we look at some of the output here, it's scrolling by quickly, I realize, but uh, the Reynolds number should be listed here. Let's see. Yeah, the Reynolds number is computed here. Uh, the average velocity in the x direction is zero, so this Reynolds number is going to end up being roughly about zero. And then in the y direction, the average velocity is 5 times 10 to the minus 4. And the viscosity is 1 sixth. The uh, length of the uh, obstacle in the channel is 7. And we have a Reynolds number of 0.02. Now let's take a look at uh, the output. You can see the pressure has built up significantly behind here, and it's a uh, low pressure zone on this side of the obstacle. In terms of velocity fields, let's look at frame 10. Uh, again, we have a higher y velocity in the negative direction here, which is indicated by the green color. And the x velocities are strongest here. And that's indicated by the blue color on these particular graphs. There are other graphs that show, for instance, the x velocities. And these come now uh, not just in uh, green and blue to indicate the direction of the velocity, but here we have red and green to show the uh, sign of the velocity. So blue is a positive x velocity, and red is a negative x velocity, and same thing here, negative x, positive x.
all the y velocities are in the negative direction, so they all show as green. Had there been some in the other direction, they would show as a different color. What I'd really like to do here, though, is use uh, the uh, read dot dot program that we developed. We will need to change the size of the domain and the file name. And also in specifying the number of rows in the problem. And I believe that will do it. So let's go to MATLAB and we can press up arrow to recall the last command. And now we see uh, the contours. Let me zoom in on part of this. So we have streamlines that all start at the top. They come around the obstacle here. The Velocities are zero at these uh, points in the on the obstacle, and the pressure contours are shown here. So that looks like a reasonable simulation of this case. 